Hello, in this video, I'll be talking about Royal Hojari Green, which is the uh, which is a high-grade type of frankincense, specifically of the Boswellia sacra species. You can see uh, how it looks like. It's a very light green. It's almost white with a very um, light green tra uh, transparent look to it. And it, it looks very clear and it looks very nice. And I'll go ahead and give it a taste test and give it a burn test to tell you how it tastes and how the it, it smells like when you burn it and i'm going to go ahead and tell you what are some of the properties of boswellia sacra this um, uh, this high grade quality of uh, resin from Bo the boswellia sacra species of frankincense and so um roy um the boswellia sacra uh, resin is mostly yellow and with uh with some of the um, resin or tears resin is tears to be green and what happens is that the um, some of the people, what they do is to pick out those green um, uh, resins and collect it as a separate higher grade type of uh, sacra, um, Boswellia sacra frankincense. And the yellow ones being a slightly lower grade. So Boswellia sacra has quite a bit of a anti-cancer property according to the scientists who've uh, done research on them. They found that it was effective against um, bladder cancers pancreatic cancers, and breast cancers, okay? And finally, uh, Bozio Sacra has uh, quite an uh, anti-inflammatory action um, and is very effective or is useful for inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis and uh, what you call Crohn's disease. So I'm going to go ahead and do the burn and taste test and tell you what the taste is like and the smell is like. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, light up a charcoal and burn one of the Bozuelia Sacra tears, specifically green hojari. This, uh, as I have said before, the green ones are of the of a, are of a higher grade or a higher quality. So, as I've said before, you should wait until the coal is white until you put on the. Uh, frankincense tear for the best burning for the best quality burn if you put it on while it's while the coal is black you'll end up burning much of the essential oil and much of the uh, gum and resin whereas if you put the um, tear right when it becomes white that's a good uh, time to put it because it's at a lower temperature and preserves more of the essential oil smell so at this point you can see that the coal is uh, quite white I'll go ahead and uh, put in one of the hojari um, tears onto the coal and tell you what it smells like. It uh, has a green smell to it, a, re a resinous, piney green smell. Oh, it's so very sweet. It has a very sweet uh, smell to it, a little camphorous. Yes, yes. So it's, uh, it smells sweet. It smells camphorous. And uh, those are the scents that I detect. Sweet, resinous, can uh, resinous like the pine resin. It's piney in other words. It smells camphorous. It smells a little bit like lime, not lemon. A little bit like lime. Lime is a bit bitter, more bitter. It has a subtly different uh, smell to it. And it burns very, um, not as cleanly as Bozolea ferreana. The other sample I have is called Bozolea ferreana, and it to totally melts into the coal. It's a very clean burn. But this, you can, as you can see, has some gum, uh, gum content that stays and keeps the shape, keeps the shape of the frankincense tear. Otherwise, near the end of the process, it uh, has a similar uh, finish to Bozoya cartery due to the gum content of the tea, uh, frankincense tear. So I'm now going to tell you what Hojari Green Royal, or as I should say, Royal Green Hojari uh, tastes like. And you can see the tears right over here. I'll taste, let's see, maybe this piece. That's a minty taste. A bit watery, like a minty, uh, watery green. 
what, what would you describe watery green like? Maybe like cilantro, um, a little bit like parsley, just slightly. It's um, it's bitter, but like a, with a watery bitterness. I can't like watery isn't exactly. I know water doesn't exactly taste like anything, but when you uh, drink water, it has a refreshing uh, aftertaste. Just imagine that. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's basically what I'm talking about. It tastes a lot. Uh, it has a very more refined, more delicious taste than Bozoya Cartree. And so, yeah, it tastes, it's a reminiscent of uh, parsley, cilantro. It's not lemony. May I mean, no, not really. It's not piney. And that's uh, basically how I would describe the taste as to you. And so thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. And uh, tell me, what do you think of uh, Royal Green Hojari? Do you like this type of frankincense? How would you compare it to other types of frankincense? In fact, what, what's your favorite type of frankincense? I personally like Bozolea Freiriana for its chewability because it's um, it's probably one of the best ones to best best ones to chew. The second best would probably be um, Royal Green Hojari or Boswellia uh, Boswellia Dal Ziali. Boswellia Dal Ziali. That's how you pronounce it. Bye.